everybody's out there. Give me just a minute. I'm going to refresh my iPad. I hope I get on the right page and um, see if we can get this thing rolling. And I've looked on the internet and I still can't figure out how to get this thing in the landscape mode, even though I've had other people look as well. I did find some place on Facebook or somewhere in one of the groups that I'm in that ha told you how to go into your iPhone and make a change to the settings and I can't remember how to do it and needless to say I did not write that down. Vertical mode instead of the horizontal. But I guess that's just the way it's going to be. So um, we're going to wait a few minutes. It's one after one. I'll give everybody a few minutes of time to get on here before we get started. And um, again, I apologize for this thing being in the land um, horizontal mode, vertical, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's a little frustrating for me because I'm, I'm trying to work really hard on getting this set up so that it will broadcast the correct way. I'm going to adjust the phone a few minutes here and just see if I can not show my iPad and get more of the table since I'm limited to, <laughs> since I'm limited to this much space here. Um, so just bear with me. At one point, I swear to you all, I will have this down. I'm going to have to take a class, I think, because I can't seem to get, I can't seem to get my act together. But anyways, we're going to make the best of it. That's all I can say. And um, it's 103, so let's just wait a few more minutes. If you're on, um, do me, give me a shout out. I promise the next time I do one of these live videos, I will have this down. At least you can see everything, and it's not upside down. At least for me, it's not. And let's just wait a few more minutes. I'm going to give everybody time to find themselves on here. And if you're online, thank you so much for joining me. I have a fun project. This is something, and I keep showing that my um, internet connection keeps getting uh, interrupted. So just bear with me if you don't mind. Um, we're going to do some of these classes using up our pattern paper. Since we tend to hoard it, most of us do, we are now going to, um, I'm going to start doing some things that we can use it up. Okay, well, it's five after one, so those of you that are here, I appreciate it. Um, everyone else can will have to. And my phone has now decided to ring. It never rings until I get on the computer. But we're doing the best that we can do. And um, But that's okay. We are here, and I'm going to get started for those that are here so that you get the full advantage of this class and I'm going to adjust this camera one more time so bear with me. So what we're going to do today since a lot of us have a lot of pattern paper that we tend to hoard we are going to make this card this little bag and we're going to decorate our envelope all from a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper and this particular card is made using Part of a sheet, so we're using the car, the uh, paper as our card base, and then we've put some on the inside just to give it some more sturdiness. And this is a um, a masculine card, and this is piece of paper is from one of our new uh, Tranquil Tide sets. I'm not sure what the exact name is. So that's what it is. Now I'm going to do a different one using some of our um, Love What to Share, Love What You Share um, pattern paper, but. Um, I'm sorry, share what you love, specialty paper. I'm going to move this out of the side for a minute because I want to show you this paper. If you've not seen it, um, you need to take a look at this. It is absolutely some stunning paper, and it's a little bit thicker than the normal paper that we have. And this particular batch, um, the Share What We Love, comes in 27 comes 24 sheets I'm sorry 24 sheets instead of 12 and I want to say it's $27 but don't hold me to that but what I wanted to show you is you get four sheets of each uh, design which is nice and um, I'm going to show you I want to show you some of these if you haven't seen it so this is um, got all the colors and then this is the back side it's got a little sheen to it which is really nice and then you've got um, the next set, which is what we're going to use today. Well, one of them. And then this one has like more of a peachy color on the background. 
And then this one is more leaves and these have a similar sheen on the back. This one is more of an olive color green with this color, which I absolutely love. And if you, I don't think you can see it on here, but it absolutely shines. It's just absolutely stunning. And then we've got this piece, which I've almost used up the entire thing right here, um, which has got the beige background with the pink. So, and I'm not sure. I wanted to show you this paper. So if you haven't purchased this, this is a great bargain for your money. You figure if it's 27, I'm pretty confident it is. It's, you know, a little over a dollar a sheet. Let's get started. So as I said before, if you're just joining us, we're gonna make um, this card. Now we're gonna do a female version and it is dapper denim, but this is the designer paper that we're using as the card base. And then we're putting some cardstock inside to um, add some strength to it. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna make this little milk box container. And then we are going to make our envelope. We're gonna decorate that to the flap to match. All right, so that's what we're gonna do today. So let me move this off to the side. And excuse me if my hand gets in the way. I'm trying to see why I can't see my, um, my live. There we go, now we're in the live thing. Okay. So we are going to work with this piece of 12 by 12 designer paper. And I know the, inter the internet, for whatever reason, keeps getting interrupted and I apologize, but we've got a lot of cloud hanging over today. So that may have something to do with it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this 12, uh, 12 by 12 piece of cards, uh, designer paper, and you wanna determine, of course it's got the two sides, right? So we wanna determine which, um, side that you want as your card front and card base okay so just keep that in mind all right so i'm going to bring in my stampin up trimmer if you do not have this trimmer you need to buy one it is thirty dollars and you can go to my store at shallwestamp.com the arm reaches out to 14 inches it has a cutting blade which is the darker one and then a scoring blade and then every quarter inch you've got these um grids on here that allows you to measure everything and also if you go over to this side it goes over an inch that way as well and I apologize but I'm going to keep refreshing my screen to see if I am seeing what you all are seeing with that being said and I keep seeing mine must be stuck in la la land all right so we're going to take this uh, piece of cardstock and I mean designer paper and we are going to cut this at five and a half inches so we're going to do it at five and a half by 12 and always make sure if you're using the trimmer that you've got it lined up at the bottom so it's straight so we're gonna cut this at five and a half by 12 you're gonna move this piece aside because we're gonna use this in a little bit and we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna turn it and we are now going to score it let me get my scoring blade up there we're now gonna score this at four and a quarter alright so we're gonna score this at four and a quarter and then we're gonna move it over and score it at eight and a half Okay, all right, so let's move this off to the side for now, and then we'll come back and do that other piece. All right, so now we've got my, skull, my score, so I'm going to go ahead and fold my cardstock where my scoring lines are, and use my bone folder to burnish my edges, and then we're going to fold in this side. Now, you'll see that this side is a little bit shorter. This is going to be the inside piece, okay, so what I've done as I've chosen a piece of paper that coordinates with the inside. And I really like those lines, so I thought that would be a good one. And we're gonna use Rich Razzleberry for part of our pieces. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our card, let me move some of our pieces out of the way here, and um, you're gonna cut two, um, uh, let's see, we're gonna cut a four by five and a quarter, and this is gonna be for the inside to give it a little bit more strength. And then you're going to have a white piece that we're going to attach to the inside that is going to be cut at three and three quarters by five. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then you can stamp what you want on the inside. I'm For now, I'm just going to leave mine blank until um, I decide I'm going to send this out to someone. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere this to the inside. Oops, just ran out of tape. So I am using my snail which has um, my fast food which has retired so um, it's only because it's handy that's why I'm going to use it otherwise I'd be using my, sna my snail and did not realize that 
I was running out of paper. I mean, of um, adhesive. All right, so we're just going to attach this to the inside. This is where you can write your message and all of that. Okay, now you're going to cut two pieces of cardstock that are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And this is going to be the base that we place here and then on the front of the card. Okay, and then your white pieces that we're going to stamp on are going to be three by four. So let's go ahead and I'm going to stamp the front of my card. Um, I'm going to stamp this Rich Razzleberry. And we are going to, let me see, we're going to stamp the front of it to say, and I'm using the Love What You Do stamp set. This is available. It's new. It's in the catalog. And I think it's a really nice set. I really like this. I have used it to death. Now we're going to stamp this in Rich Razzleberry because I'm trying to keep everything to coordinate. So we're going to go ahead and stamp this. Now I'm stamping this on a scrap because I'm going to punch this out with a two inch punch. Okay. Use this for the inside of my card. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to take the two inch punch and we're just going to go ahead and punch this out and we're going to put a circle. All right. So we're going to do that. Now, and I use, as you can see, this is a scrap that's been used on previous projects. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, since this is going to be covered by my white piece, I am going to cut a, um, which I already have, sorry. I've cut using the Starburst, Starburst uh, Circle Punch. I want just punch that out of a scrap as well. So I went ahead and done that. Now, done, done that. Ugh. Okay, so with that, we are now going to adhere our circle to our starburst. And I'm just going to put two dimensionals on it. And again, um, I've got a piece that's been used. And if you have problems taking the backs off, push with your fingernails down in the center. And then that will allow you to um, pull them up a little bit better makes it a little bit easier. And then we're going to go ahead and just attach this to this uh, starburst. All right, so let me move this aside because we'll come back to that in a minute. All right, so let me go ahead and attach my um, piece of card, uh, white cardstock to the front. And then we're going to add, um, then we're going to add, let me move this one out of the way. Then we're going to add this to here, and then this we're going to attach with dimensionals. But before we do that, um, I'm going to put, you never have enough dimensionals, you know, for what are they, $4 and you get $300, something like that. Just love them. Okay, so but before we do that, we have these new Share What You Love Artisan Pearls, and they are in the end colors. So we're going to take these. And I always use my scissors to pick them up because it's just easier. So I'm going to pull in some of the colors that are in our paper. And I'm just going to stick them down here. So I think I'm going to pull in one of the peachy ones. Maybe a little pinky here. And uh, we'll do this one so it's not too off. We'll do those. I was going to do a tranquil tide, but that might be a little too much. Aren't those pretty? I just love those. Um... All right, so we're going to go ahead and attach this. Now, the first, the next thing we're going to do, though, before I do, is I'm going to attach this with our adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because I don't want to get it too bulky for the mail, but I do want to. So I am going to add a piece of Rich Razzleberry ribbon. Now, this is retired. I thought I had some current stuff, and I don't. So, um, again, I apologize for using something that's retired. But we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to tear, um, let me move this off to the side so you can see. I'm just going to line a piece up and I'm just, so I'm just going to cut it right about here. And all I'm going to do is tie this with a piece of hemp twine. And let me just cut off a piece of this. All right, so we're going to tie this towards the bottom, our card. And I'm doing that and then I'm going to attach my uh, sentiment. So we're going to tie this, and I'm just going to tie it around here in a knot. Let me put this down so I can, I want to get it tight. So once I get it on here, then I can go ahead and adjust it. And we're going to tie it, um, try to get it tied in a bow. But let me get my, my uh, hemp over here so I can get enough room to tie a bow, and then I'll tighten it up. You know, sometimes you wonder how you do all this with two hands. You need at least three, right? So, um, okay, so we're going to tie that. And let me just loop this around and make a knot so it stays tight. 
and then we'll make a bow. Okay, there we go. And then I can pull it up a little bit tighter. All right, so we're just going to tie a bow, and then we can adjust this ribbon once I have it down here um, where we want it placed on the, on the uh, front of the card. Okay, so give me a minute. You know, having fingernails, obviously, sometimes is a detriment when it comes to crafting. So hold the center of your, of your bow when you go to uh, adjust the size, and that keeps it somewhat taut. So let's, uh, let me get that bow out of the way. Let me to do it a little bit smaller because that seems like it's a little bit tight. Okay, so we're there. So let me just trim this off and trim this off here. All right, I don't think that's too big. We'll leave it like that. All right, so we're going to move this. Now I am going to trim this down because obviously that's too long. So I'm just going to cut these into um, at an angle. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to attach this. I always do things a little bit backwards, but that's okay. I'm going to attach this to the front of the card. And my adhesive will hold this down. And again, for those that are just joining me, the Fast Fuse is retired. My snail ran out when I just started, so my apologies for that. And we'll get this on here. Okay, so we're going to attach that to the front of our card. And we're just going to place it right about there. And then we're going to peel off our dimensionals, the backings of those. And if you all are here, um, I again apologize that for whatever reason my iPad does not want to communicate with the phone. So we're going to set that right there. So that's going to be the front of my card, okay? I'm going to tighten this up. This, this needs to be tightened up just a little bit. All right, now, so we have our second piece that we're going to add to this section here. So I'm going to go ahead and move my dots out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this. All right, and on this one, we are going to, where's my little, um, hang on, I already made something. I'm going to do it this way. And, of course, the doorbell's ringing. All right, so we're going to attach this to the inside of the card. So I went ahead and already punched this out with the stitched framelits um, and the oval, and I used the markers to... Um, all right, so we're going to attach that to the in, to the um, inside of the card. I apologize for the dog. I got yard people here, and I told them that I was going to be on the computer, and I was not going to be available, and they're knocking at the door, so they're just going to have to wait. All right, so we're going to attach that to that side. So here's our card. We're going to. Do, I'm lucky to have you as a friend, and then you open it up, and we've got a flower, and then in this one, I'm going to stamp it right, as thank you. Minute, okay, whoops, I got sound on here. Sorry about that. iPad. Hope I get on the right page. Now my thing is running. Okay, never mind. Okay, sorry. I just got everything going wrong again as usual. All right, and then this one I'm just going to, since it says, um, I'm lucky to have you as a friend, I'm just going to put thank you right here. And then we'll, then we'll, um, uh, write a message in there at a later time. All right, so that's how we make our card. Isn't that neat? Five and a half by 12, scored at four and a quarter and eight and a half, and just cut your paper. The three and a quarter by four and a quarter is the rich razzleberry, and your white is three by four, and you'll have two of those. This one I left off the white since I just put the flower on there. And then the inside, again, is four and a quarter by five and three and three quarters. I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a quarter and then three and three quarters by five for your white. All right, so that's our card. Now let's move on to, let me move this out of the way. Now let's move on to our next part of this project that we're going to do. And that's gonna be making our bag. So we are now gonna make a bag and we are going to cut this piece down that we had and we're gonna cut this down. It's at 12 inches. So we want to cut it down to nine and a half. So again, you need to pull out your arm. We're going to bring this down to nine and a half. And this piece is six and a half inches wide because that's, what's, that's what was left. Now keep this because we're going to use that to decorate our envelope. All right, so this is six and a half by nine and a half. And on this one, we are going to score it on the landscape mode. And this should be easy because we're going to score at two inches. You're going to do two, four, six, and eight, okay? And then after we score at the eight, 
Then we're going to turn it, and on one side, we are going to score it at two inches. So we'll just come over here and do two here. Okay? And I know it's going to be hard to see, but we're going to do two inches here. All right, so now we'll move this out of the way. Let me move this out of the way. Now we're going to fold our score lines. All right, so we're going to score, fold it, burnish it. And this paper is really thick. And if you haven't bought this uh, Share What You Love paper, you, you, need to, you need to get that because it is just the best paper. Um, and then we're going to score this. All right, and then fold this. Okay, now <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to cut up all these flaps up to that score two-inch score line. Okay, so we're starting to make the box. So we're going to cut up. I see my score line. We're going to cut up up to that line. It's kind of hard when you're looking at purple paper that have lines in it too. All right, cut that one. And then we're going to cut this one. And then we're going to get rid of this little one because we don't want him. We don't need him anymore. Bye-bye, little corner. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put some adhesive right here. Okay, fold our box. We're going to fold this so it's um, flat like that. Make sure it's evened up. It's butted up. All right, now we have our box. Okay, mine's off just a little bit. Let's see if I can redo that. Even though I put this, um, uh, let me see. Hang on, I don't like it. There we go. It allowed me to do it. I don't like things to be off. It drives me crazy. So I'm going to line up my ends, end to end. Bear with me. I'm trying to do this with. There we go. I like it to be straight. Okay, that's better. All right, now, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our flaps, as you know, and I'm just going to fold them out this way and I'm gonna put adhesive on them while it's laying like that. So you're gonna put adhesive on three, three sides. So just however you wanna put your adhesive. Um, we're gonna put it on three sides. All right, so we're gonna push one in. This is the one that doesn't have uh, glue right here, so that's gonna be the last one. So we're gonna put this one in, and we're gonna push this one in, and you wanna make sure you get them lined up evenly. Fold this one over, and then fold this one over to make our bottom. Okay, so there's the bottom of our box. And then you can take your bone folder and stick it in here. Now you have two ways that you can make this. You can actually squeeze it like this and make it flat, but we're gonna do like a milk box. So we're gonna squish it this way. And you just kind of push in with your fingers and squish it, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, you can put like, you know, you can put golf balls in here, put candy you know, um, a little necklace or something, ring, whatever. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and decorate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a little divot right here, just a little part of a triangle, because I want to have a place that will hold my um, baker's twine. So we're going to just put a little, just, it doesn't matter, just as long as it's close. It doesn't have to be an exact um, of what we're doing, but that just helps to kind of hold your ribbon there. So I'm just going to cut that and pull those off. I'm going to use some of the nature's nature root uh, twine and I'm it's got the mint macaron in here so I'm going to use that. We're just going to tie this um, into a bow so let me cut this off and um, so we're going to fold it flat. Hopefully you're, I'm in the camera. I'm going to fold it flat. Let me get my string in here together first and then I can make my bow and then you can always add something to the front um, of the gift bag if you choose to okay there we go um, but I'm not I'm just gonna decorate it right for now since we're doing the video I'm just gonna make it into a little box with a bow and you can tie a knot there if you need to again I'm just gonna tie a bow because you want you want your recipient to be able to open it without ripping your box apart all right so we're gonna pull this down and pull that down and tighten it and of course, my bow is going cattywampus, but that's all right. That's okay. The person that's going to get this is just going to be so appreciative that they got a, bo a little box full of candy. So let's make this bow a little bit bigger. See how we're using up our pattern paper? Isn't this awesome? What a great way. Let me just trim up my tails, and we'll slide that out of the way. So now we have a gift box that coordinates with our card, and I've got a cattywampus um, 
bow, but that's all right. So now the last thing that we are going to do, this is the best part. We are gonna use this last piece of paper and we are gonna decorate our envelope. So what I do is the easiest way is just to put adhesive on your flap of your envelope, okay? and just whatever however much you want I get a little crazy I want to I always want to make sure I got enough along this edge here uh, lay this on there and I'm gonna lay it I'm gonna lay it this way lay it on here okay squish it down and you're just gonna trim it up so we're just gonna take our snips and trim so once we get done if you all would, wouldn't mind, I would love it if you would share my video with your friends and family and whomever, and also like it for me. If you want to see more of these um, projects, um, I plan on doing that. If you're not aware, I will be out of town for about a month and a half. I'm going to try to do one video uh, broadcast next week going over the catalog. A live Facebook but outside of that you might not see a lot of me I will be ha sending out emails and stuff um, but I won't be uh, doing any live broadcasts because we're gonna be traveling so here is our project a lovely card with a matching envelope and our little gift box isn't that amazing and we used an entire piece of 12 by 12 cardstock with this much leftover this is our little pieces that we left over scrap wise so there you go guys you can get rid of using all that paper that you've been hoarding I also have some uh, one sheet wonder classes if you sign up for my newsletter if you haven't already go to shallwestamp.com or you can actually do it on Facebook on my Facebook page not the one that we're on for the video but go to my actual shall we stamp Facebook page you can sign up there and you will get a free one sheet wonder class that will show you how to make a uh, card, six cards, seven cards in a box. Okay, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Again, I hope to have my phone organized and figured out how I do a landscape mode instead of horizontal. Again, please share this um, and let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.